I have a car at home that takes four lugs instead of five lugs, and as a result, a lot of those cool alloy five-spoke wheels just won't work. This is my attempt at making an interesting and cool four-lug alloy wheel. Now, there's one thing that a Libre version 28 offers that really helps the design process, and that is to mirror the entire part. I was able to make this wheel just by modeling a quarter of what the wheel actually is. Imagine being able to model a quarter of your fillets, a quarter of your lofts, a quarter of everything that might slow you down. So you'll have a lot faster performance, especially in rebuilding. But even then, imagine trying to do something like a shell on a certain feature, or a tricky fillet, or anything that might be difficult or impossible to mirror. And when you're able to mirror the entire part, you don't have to worry if such things can mirror or not. It will work. For example, here I'm able to click on Mirror, and I'll choose Entire Part, and then I can choose my Mirror Plane. And think about how many features I was just able to mirror in one go, and how quick that was. That wouldn't be able to happen using traditional mirror tools. And I can do the same thing. We'll mirror the entire part. And just like that, I've got my whole entire wheel. And imagine all the computation that I was able to save. And speaking of which, I actually have a model of a Grippen that I made using a whole bunch of mirror features. I just rebuilt this so that it will use the entire part mirror. Let's compare the rebuild times on it. So this is the grip and jet where so many features are individually mirrored in order to make the symmetric profile of the jet. But let's test how it rebuilds. I'll click on regenerate all. And that wasn't too bad. Let's see how the other one compares. So this is the version of the Gripen that has been modified so that the entire side of the plane is just a body mirror. Let's see how it performs. I'll regenerate all. Well, I think it's safe to say we were able to rebuild significantly faster, even with the burden of recording my screen as I did so. But mirroring the entire part does not just benefit your ability to rebuild faster or replicate a lot of components quickly, but it also can help your workflow and file management. Take the case of this toy hand grip. I was able to make this toy blaster grip in a Libre, but I'll need to use a mirror to get the full thing. Right, this comes in two parts. When I mirror this, I can see both halves right in my part modeling environment. For those who are used to multi-body modeling workflows, this will help you to feel right at home coming from another platform. And in the multi-body fashion, I was able to reference geometry from my original handle to get mating features between the two to make sure that these will fit together properly. We were able to have a reveal boss and groove, for example, that will help these fit together right. Now, a similar thing can happen in assemblies. We'll use an assembly, mirror the part, work on our features, and then the mirror lives inside of the assembly. That is an especially great workflow if you don't want to have both halves stuck in your part environment like this. But additionally, let's say I'm ready to produce this part, and I give a single part number for both halves. That's a pretty common practice since they come in a set, and to be able to have one single file for both of your halves is a great advantage in organizing all of your files. It also makes it quite clear when you're trying to trace down both halves with your single part number. So hopefully that's a useful overview in being able to see how this feature can change the way that you organize your part numbers and files, increase your rebuild performance, and be able to model complex geometry very quickly across multiple different cases. Thank you so much for watching.